the umbrella bird. The umbrella bird does not carry an umbrella. It does live in the rainforests. This bird gets its name from its head feathers. These feathers face forward and cover its face like an umbrella. Umbrella birds are about 12 to 18 inches long. They also have a long piece of skin called a wattle that hangs down from their necks. Turkeys have wattles like these, but umbrella birds have even bigger ones. Some of these wattles are as long as the birds. It's amazing that the birds do not lose their balance when standing on tree branches. The wattles help them chirp very loudly. In fact, umbrella birds are some of the noisiest birds in the rainforests. Most umbrella birds live in Central America and in the northern areas of South America. They stay in the mountains when they are having babies. They live in the tropical rainforest lowlands the rest of the time. They make their homes in the tallest trees. This is where most of the sunlight is found. Umbrella birds are omnivores, so they eat both meat and plants. Umbrella birds move up and down the trees of the rainforest looking for prey. Once they find an animal or large insect, they grab it with their beaks. Then they knock it out by slamming it against a tree branch. Finally, they eat it. Umbrella birds will eat frogs, lizards, and small rodents. They also like to eat fruit. Males look for female mates in an interesting way. They sit up in a tree all day long. While they sit, they use their wattles to make a loud sound. It sounds like someone banging on a big metal trash can. The females can hear this sound throughout the forest. If they are looking for a mate, they can follow the sound to where the males are sitting. Then the female picks which male it likes best. Umbrella birds are in danger of extinction because their habitat is rapidly diminishing. Forests are being quickly cleared out in Central America and in Northern South America to plant crops or graze livestock. The actions that people take to expand farmland or get more grazing land affect other animals and their habitats. It would certainly be a shame to lose these interesting umbrella birds.